Hey folks, this is Dutch here and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Last time we entered through Alluvians, went through the crossroads and now we're apparently in some elven ruins somewhere and I see that Dorian does not have a, a proper weapon. So we have to correct that. There's something that he could use that is better. This Ah, screw it. We'll just keep him what he has right now. Anyway, so we went through to, in order to find out what the Kunari have been up to, and apparently they are using Alluvions, which, <coughs> excuse me, makes no sense whatsoever. It's making me burp. So we should investigate and examine, and that's another Alluvion. Examine. Another Kunari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. He's part of their military. Well, then he's appropriately dressed. However you put it. Could I destroy this, maybe? Nope. Indestructible wooden crates. Completely immune to fire. Oh, yes. Uh, a little quick look over something. I... Ah, yes, that's what it was. Anyway, that was it. Now, let's see what is out here. Something. Well, as usual, we need to take a look around. And there is purple fire. This seems... Ow. Okay, well that just killed me. How do I get rid of this? So how do I get past this? Nope, not like th Not like that. Well, that's two health potions right out the window. Oh well. Maybe. Huh. This seems weird. Why is there purple fire here? That's what I would like to know. I don't think I can get past it, apparently. So, we'll just leave that for what it is. And move on. So, purple fire is bad. And Kunari are around, which... Okay, apparently I missed something here. Scorch marks everywhere. This is the work of a maid. <laughs> a powerful one. I can still feel the heat crackling. We need to find out why these Kunari were here and who did this to them. Yeah, because being turned into stone isn't usually a thing for Kunari. Unless they've been using stone skin potions, but I doubt that. Well, there seems to be something going on. A broken statue sits atop a pedestal. If we want to know why they're here, we've got to get across to that island. Well, that's not with this mirror. Because this one's broken. Okay, this isn't giving me much of an answer yet. So, it's clear we're not getting... Getting across it this way, so I guess we just use another one of these mirrors. By the way, where did these Illuvions all of a sudden show up from? I mean, it's like they came out of nowhere. Spirit champion? The hell is a spirit champion? Oh well, let's find out. Fen Harrell. Uh, I guess I'll just go with the Listen to Well of Sorrows. I think I know what to say. Armelana de Thabri. Rivas Viranaris. I knew it would come in the handy to... What did you say? It was part of a ritual. A secret greeting from those Fenharel trusted. If Mithal's Well of Sorrows knew this, were they close? 
friends, so I'm not sure. Well, whatever it is, it took care of the problem. It saves a whole lot of mess of trouble, of course. Well, this Luvion, it's not going to be. And what's. Again, I see purple fire. What is the point of the purple fire? It's extremely deadly. That much has been made clear. But how the hell do I get past it? Because I want that chest. But look at it! What do I do? Well, there's no way across this. That much is sure. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, the mark is... Wolf's Welcome. A wash of powerful magic carries an impression of welcome. Images flash by. Elven slaves fleeing to this place in ancient times, greeted by others who then tend their wounds. Words are not so much heard as felt. Fen Harel bids you welcome. Rest, knowing the dread wolf guards you and his people guard this valley. In this place you are free. In trusting us you will never be bound again. That was like Balefire. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. You mean the ancient elves kept slaves? Maker's breath. One more thing never to tell Daisy. This whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dread wolf Fen Harel. Fen Harel? The Dalish elves god of misfortune. Apparently, not so misfortunate as we think. There's no way I'm getting past that unless I have some sort of special thingy. So, this is making no sense. And how the hell do you get past the purple fire thing? Uh, well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't talk to these dudes, though. That's unfortunate. And how do you? How the hell am I supposed to get there? Ah, uh, screw it. We'll just use the damn alluvian already. I am not going for more of that purple fire. I already wasted two health potions using it, trying to get past it. Well, that's just a bird, I guess. Well. Okay. Can I jump up here? Maybe. There is no way I... Oh, wait, I think I am get it. I hope. These look like... Kunari symbols. Or at least an art style of theirs. Well, more Kunari. Listen to Varric. What? So, we're getting the band back together. That's exciting. We are not a band of any sort. Just because you can't carry a tune, Seeker, doesn't mean you're not front and center in our band of misfits. <laughs> listen to Dorian. Oh, come on! Don't I get to listen to Cassandra? Of course they do. It's to winter. That's a bit of gold. That's good. That hurt. Could I go back through this thing? I could, but there's no reason to do so. Ah! Come on. Anyway, there's still one person I need to listen to, and that's Cassandra, and she should be around here somewhere. Or at least to talk, to listen to her saying something. Is it this? Oh, come on! You're not gonna cut me out of Cassandra giving a comment about this place. Ugh. 
By the way, I hate you. No comments from Cassandra. That's just... That's just disappointing. Just like a lot of this stuff. There's been a lack of fighting. I'm not saying that's entirely a bad thing, but it's just weird. A sock and a book. If this is supposed to be a reference for something, I don't get it. Anyway, moving on. There's got to be something around here I can use. Or something of interest. I mean, seriously, it's just up to this point, just going through fucking mirrors. I'm not that superficial. I care about more than just stupid mirrors. I want to know what the hell is going on here. Okay. I'll bite. A wash of powerful magic carries a pang of hope. Images flash by. A man in wolfskin, standing with a group of freed slaves. Clasping one's arm in friendship. Words are not so much heard as felt. Fenharal has been falsely named a god, but, it, but is as mortal as any of you. He takes no divine mantle and asks that none be bestowed upon him. He leads only those who would help willingly. Let none be beholden b but by choice. This is Ben Harrell, helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. He took great pains to renounce his supposed divinity. Ordinary guy saves people, accidentally founds religion. Sounds a lot like the chant, actually. Ben Harrell sounds like quite the rebel. Of course they do. Everybody loves a good rebel. Especially the lovable kind. Why do you think Han Solo is so popular? Or most rebel kind of figures? Well, at least the place is uh, sufficiently lit. Another Canary warrior. Dead, of course. All right, I'll bite. What is it this time? What are we going to listen, learn about Fen Harrell? A wash of powerful magic carries a sensation of bitter fury. Images flash by. Elven mages enslaving tens of thousands, making arrogant procl proclamations of godhood. Words are not so much heard as felt. The gods are ev Evanuris, claim divinity, yet they are no but mortal, powerful in magic who can die as you can. In this place, we teach those who join us to unravel their lies. Okay, we're learning a lot about the ancient elves. This claims the elven gods were just Evanuris. Powerful, but completely mortal mages. Was this the start of an uprising? Freed elven slaves against their former masters? If that's true, Fenerel was teaching these freed slaves the truth about these false gods. Okay. Whoa! Anchor discharge. The anchor now automatically generates focus over time. Discharge the accumulated focus by using the new ability in the battle menu, where the mount used to be, or by pressing the assigned key by default. Equals. Discharging the anchor makes your party briefly invulnerable. The anchor also glows brightly for a short time, lighting dark areas and revealing objects hid hidden there. Everything okay? I'm not sure. It stopped at least. Take? This looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. Oh, now I get it. This gets us past all that purple fire. I get it. Okay. Interesting. So it now acts as a light source. And since it makes us invulnerable, you betcha it is. And those spirit dudes are gone. I really don't like where this is going, to be honest. <laughs> I just want to first check around again before we go back. I've never heard of these mountain ruins. 
This place is weird. Where the hell is this anyway? This looks like in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I'm not familiar entirely with the geography of of Fadus, but this doesn't look like any place I've ever seen before. It's not even mentioned, but what the hell is going on over there? We saw an explosion there earlier, and there's that same weird kind of thing you find in the, exal in the exalted plains, but this just doesn't make any sense anymore. Yep, apparently so, but let's just go back. It's certainly useful, but how the hell did these Illuvians all of a sudden get active again? So, how do we get to that side, though? Okay, this time I think I'm starting to understand how we use this. Now that we're invulnerable, we can pass through here. Oh, whoa, that was close. All right, crumpled note. This un unsigned note is written half in Kunlat, half in common tongue. The lettering on the Kunlat looks shaky. Ten more in today. No one saw me. If more instructions, please use second drop point. More people on the ground soon, and it has better cover. Okay, that's one thing. Electricity based abilities are much more powerful at the cost of a large amount of health. Why would I use that? Run, run, run. Ooh, close one. Well, at least I'm now finally starting to get the hang of why I now have this thing. But I still like to know how I get to that side. Or is that just not an option at all? Well, there's got to be a way to get there, but we'll figure that out as we go. Anyway, let's get back. There's another purple flame I remember. I'll have to go backtrack quite a bit to get there. But it shouldn't be too hard. The bridge. Yeah, that's good, but we're going back through this one first. Maybe we finally get some fighting done after a while. I, seriously, I want to hit something I can. Or at least throw ice at it. You see, now we can get past that. Which I wasn't able to do before because I couldn't become invulnerable. And there we go. What was in here? Superb belt of urgency. The wearer of this build gains a large boot boost to attack speed when below 50% health. Ooh. Let's see. Who could benefit pretty good of that? Why don't you use it, Varric? If by any chance you get to, you know, 50% health. I'm hoping that that's not going to happen. I just need to go back for the purple fire again, and I'd rather not die when that happens. But that was that. I think now we can finally move on. And maybe get to some fighting? I don't know. This still doesn't make any sense. How the hell did these dudes get turned into stone? I've never heard of... The Petrify spell hasn't been in here since, well, Dragon Age 2, so... This should make contact with the Kunari. This ah, it's raising a bridge, isn't it? Yep. Well, there's a lot of wolf statues here, so definitely something involving Fen Harrow. This is probably not going to end well for, well, anybody, particularly. Anybody who gets in my way. Ah, thank you. Now, a supply cache. Thank you. Thank you. And they're not friendly. Of course they're not. Here, come at me, you bastards.
Well, that was not that hard. Oh, there's more. Well, uh, that just happened. That didn't much clear up anything. Prophet's Laurel, I don't know what the hell I have this sort of for, but I'll take it. Music certainly is different than before. Let's first scour the area for any goodies. Forgotten Sanctuary. Well, apparently it's no longer forgotten. The Kunari got here. And that's actually the worst part. They found it first. Look, I know that I'm supposed to probably go... What's with the stomping? Here, cheat out! Ben Hasraf agent! Let's use the static cage. I just want to check something. This is really weird. What the hell is going on here? So maybe something down here? Why the hell did I just make myself sound like a blood, like some damn redneck? Examine. A note from a larger page. The paper is charred at the edge. Struck the tower. A great sizzling bolt out of the blue, out of a blue sky. Afterward, spirits emerge from a statue of a wolf, as if the lightning woke them, and they appeared to be looking for someone. The only word I understood was Van Harrel. They did not see me, but beware, for they attack any guards who. Felandars. Okay, so the Kunari are. Uh, okay, I'm getting a little confused here now. Auk. Fine, I'll get it. Can I climb back up this? Okay. This is gonna take very long by the looks of it. But still, I'm gonna scour the place. I couldn't care less about any other thing, but I am checking this place out. One way or another. <sighs> There's got to be more. They wouldn't create paths like these unless it's meant for, well, you know, discovering things. Or have I been walking in a circle just this whole time? Could I get up here? No, I could not. Okay, so this is pretty much a dead end, obviously. But there was more to see, so I am not giving up until I find every little bit I can find in this place. Understood? I could go further up, so let's see what that has to offer. The music is different. Certainly works with fighting Kunari. Sets the theme pretty good. I still don't understand exactly why the Kunari are attacking. Why they were attacking me in particular. Yeah, I didn't join up with them. But that meant giving up the Chargers. I'm not giving up the Chargers. Fuck that shit. 
I'd sooner kill myself than give up the Chargers. They're the Bulls Chargers. I'm not giving up those guys. They're great. Heck, they gave Bull a fucking dragon skull for his birthday. You can't beat that. Well, that's Veil Fire, but I don't know what they use. And Silver. What is still the what is the use of these at this day in this point in time in the game? Uh oh. Problem? Well, if we really need to kill the Hala, I guess. Hala leather. <laughs> I don't know what that was good for, but apparently the Hala saw us as enemies, so and that's the case, you take action. A camp with it seems to be some kind of uh, spyglass. Look, I am not attacking more hollow when it's not necessary. Disengage, guys. There must be some pretty crazy stuff I can create if I get this sort of materials. Well, this has no practical use, apparently. Or didn't lead anywhere useful, so... Back up again. I'm not maybe going to scour every nook and cranny, but I'm going to be scouring a lot of it, though. I mean, look at this place. I need to check a lot of areas. But not everything. We'll stay near the cliffside just in case. We still have some Kunari to take care of. And apparently more resources to gather. Holy crap, this place is crawling with it. At least they sped up the grabbing of herbs, which is good. Because that's sometimes I thought took a little... I mean, you're just picking some herbs. Does it really have to be done so precisely? <laughs> I think it's about time we kick the crap out of some more uh, canary when we can. But first, herbs. Gotta get them herbs, man. Gotta get them herbs. It may be useful, so I'm not taking any chances. See? Don't take chances, man. Get all the herbs. Including the ones down here. Enemies are plenty, but there's only one herb. Actually, that's a lie. There's a shitload of herbs. Okay. That hollow is of no importance anymore. Let's get in here already. Well, the spirits are no threat to me as long as I don't attack them. And I have no intention of doing so, considering. But perhaps I can do something with the veil fire. Uh, beds. A lot of beds. A lot of people stayed here. A lot of elves. A lot of pointy ears. Search for more information about the hostile Kunari. That would be wise. After we first figure out what the hell is going on. Oh, that's the stairs. I don't need to get up there. What about this side? This place got anything for me? Nope. At least I don't think it does. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, there's got to be something around here. Uh-oh. Problem. You... Why don't you get to Static Cage?
Okay, these guys are no easy are no slouches. You just go to sleep already, would you? And then I'll shoot an explosive shot in your face. Good thing I got two range dudes with me. Technically free if you count the, the Inquisitor with it, but I don't see that as a, f as a viable option. I'll take care of this bozo, and I just know it. Let's slow him down a bit, shall we? Did he just disappear? What does it? What does it take to kill this dude? Thank you. Jeez. He's Kunari attacked the Inquisition on sight. Kunari never act without orders. A commander in the Kun must have given them. Are you saying the entire Kunari nation wants us dead? Well, at last the Inquisition and Tavinza have something in common. Yay. Purple fire, but there's something in. I gotta get past this shit. Thank you. Sigil of Felandars. One hundred plus one hundred percent poison death. Oh, now I get sigils. Sigils can be attached to arms and give special bonuses along with unique hindrances. Oh, great. So this is, you know, the sort of thing from. You get something, but at a cost kind of thing. Ah. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan on that sort of... You know, it's the typical thing of... You get something, but at a cost. It sounds great, but it usually comes at a sort of... Idea that I don't like. It could be useful, if used properly, I guess. But that's the question, isn't it? But the Kunari... Are attacking. I'm not so sure if I'm so keen on that idea. Alright, let's read. The Dread Wolf keeps its gaze on the one light that illuminates the way forward. Well, that. C ah, I get it. Such as being slaves, of course. Hey. Oh. I get it. So the one he looks at. That should be this one. Okay. Why can't I light more? Okay, this is weird. Now what am I supposed to do? Maybe I can only... Ah. Maybe light them all, I guess? I don't know, I absolutely haven't...
Did that do anything? No, it did not. Now, what am I supposed to do? <sighs> Keeps his gaze on the one light that illuminates the way. Guys. Wait. Oh, God. I've... I think I might have messed up. No. There's a button here I need to press, but I can't press it. What the hell? Well, I think it might be best just to wrap it up here, guys. So, see you guys in the next video for when we find out where the hell am I supposed to be going now. Because I don't know. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!